The images from outside the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. are shocking as protesters rushed the building and gained access. It happened just a short time after a joint session of Congress met to confirm the electoral vote count for Joe Biden. Here to talk more about it is Professor Thad Kauser. He's the department chair and professor of political science at UC San Diego. Uh, professor, thank you so much for taking some time to join us. I just want to start off with this is so unusual. Historically, what is this moment for America? Well, I think this is an unprecedented uh, assault on, on the very linchpin democratic institution of our government. I think what's different about this, you know, yes, we've had protests, dozens, hundreds of protests uh, in Washington, D.C. over the decade, that none of them have targeted a democratic institution uh, and, and assaulted it like this. And, and I think that really clearly moved from, from this being a protest to being a, a riot. It, we've had lone gunmen uh, attacking and shooting Capitol Police officers as, as recently as, as the last decade. But but what we saw was was violence directed at stopping Congress from doing what's normally a pro forma event, but clearly at the heart of democracy, right? Presiding and validating over the peaceful transfer of power. That's what marks this as extraordinary. Interesting when we hear from President-elect Joe Biden earlier today, he mentioned the word sedition, and a lot of people were unfamiliar with even what that meant or what this means for those who took part in today's protests mm -hmm. and broke into the building. Sort of put that in perspective for us of what that is. Well, look, we've seen a, a lot of things that this was called. So Reince Priebus, who is, uh, who is Donald Trump's original chief of staff, called this domestic terrorism. Uh, George W. Bush uh, wrote and talked about stopping insurrection. So there, has been, uh, there have been a lot of words used to describe this. I think the idea here is, is with sedition that this was trying to interrupt the process of democratic government, right? That this was an attack designed to stop the peaceful uh, handover of power based on on. on Democratic votes uh, and an electoral college uh, that had been that had already va been validated and, and won in, in dozens and dozens of lawsuits over the past two months. So I think that is what makes this different than than a simple riot in some ways and makes it clearly in many people's mind an attack on democracy itself. We have less than a minute left, Professor Kauser. Is there any parallel in U.S. history to this type of violence, violence that was encouraged in many ways by a sitting president? I think that's what marks this as as especially different, right? And that, you know, observers will have to make up their own minds. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has said that this was anointed at the highest levels of power. Observers will have to make their own mind after Donald Trump appeared at the rally, said that he would never concede and asked his protesters to march uh, on, on the Capitol. Is what happened an aberration and a perversion of what he has been asking for, or was it its logical extension? I think that is, that is the question that, that people will be sorting through as they try to figure out the next steps, which will be tonight, a vote to continue to, to certify the election results, and potentially we could have another talk of impeachment proceedings again. Professor Kauser, political science professor from UC San Diego, we appreciate your time and your expertise on the topic. Thank you.